cool feature about this radio that I haven't learned until I got it uh, purchased was it's got a auto theft alarm system built into it. Uh, there's a cable that comes with it. Actually, it doesn't come with it. You have to buy it separately. But what it is is a loop. And if you tie it around your steering wheel or something else, the door, and if you break the loop, the radio will sense the loop being broken and it would uh, set out an alarm. You will hear uh, a tone coming out of the speaker and not only that it will transmit to a predetermined frequency that you have selected onto your mobile or your, your HT to let you know that something's going on around that vehicle. I've went a step further. Here's the loop for that uh, for that uh, modification that I did for the auto theft uh, feature there's another jack inside that you could jack into and I just ran the cables outside and here's my loop so what I did is purchase a motion detector that works off of 12 volts and this particular model here a Honeywell Aurora excuse my pronunciation is, is the least power consumption infrared motion detector in the market this on a standby mode would only suck up four milliamps of current which is almost negligible if you do a fair amount of driving or an average amount of driving your battery your car battery uh, will be fully still be fully charged even this is running for you know for two three days in your vehicle so that is excellent so I'll show you how I interface this particular unit with that so the basic setup is 12 volts battery power feeding into this uh, motion detector through these little uh, terminal uh, strip and then you have these two terminal lugs to activate the radio to tell it that it's been activated which well, basically so in my case when I go off working in another city and I have to stay overnight in a hotel I place my mobile in, in the alarm mode because uh, my work truck is a target for thieves and whatnot and they, they'll look inside the windshield or the or or the the windows air of the vehicle so I just turn off my radio or it's already in alarm mode so I turn off the radio. The radio is, is basically asleep and you'll see a red LED light here indicating that it's in an alarm mode. So with this setting, it's I think it's only sucking up uh, 30 milliamps of power, so not much power being consumed. Now that's interfaced with, with the radio itself too. That's going to be my activation point. So if some jackass comes into the window, on, onto the window and takes a peek inside my vehicle trying to find out what he could steal and I hope I could activate it there it is there it is that's the actual radio going off and it's pretty loud and I can't really shut it off but then my mobile it's also transmitting I'm going to shut it off. If I transmit on that frequency, it will shut off the radio. So as you can see, it activated the alarm. It sets out a, a large, uh, loud, piercing tone out the speaker of the radio. And it also transmitted that signal onto my handheld radio with that same uh, tone. So if I'm sleeping in the hotel room and I hear this radio go off I know that somebody's messing around with my vehicle and I go out there and take care of business uh, that was low power I could place this on high power and, and be miles away and, and, be, and find out if somebody's messing around with my vehicle or I could actually go through a repeater and it'll do the same thing I could deactivate the alarm or the sound of it by just transmitting into it uh, on the same frequency to deactivate the alarm uh, the only thing that really sucks is it doesn't reset uh, but 
this radio has a feature called APO, Automatic Power Off. And so if you set that feature on, after 30 minutes, the radio will shut off. But when it does shut off, if you have an alarm mode, it will just go into alarm mode and sleep again until the next time that the alarm is activated. So I have to be real careful where I place my my motion detector so it won't false uh, activate from just you know people walking around or whatever. Uh, this particular model has uh, pet immunity too so uh, for pets weighing less than 40 pounds it would not uh, uh, detect that, that movement and also it will further prevent that from uh, being activated within the vehicle as well. Well there you have it using your imagination who knows how far you could take this uh, application uh, this could be placed in a building rather than a vehicle and have it, in, have it made into a field expedient alarm system or uh, hey the sky's the limit you could apply this to a, almost about any situation that you could, could imagine especially during emergencies or uh, disasters and, and so forth as a disclaimer, I like to uh, mention that I'm not advocating abusing the radio frequencies out there that you're not authorized to use, such as uh, public safety frequencies and ham frequencies if you don't have a uh, license, and FRS frequencies if you're using a piece of equipment that's not typecast to transmit on, let's, let's say this particular modification here. But I'm um, just showing you a tool that you could use when there is an extreme situation where you have to break those rules uh... when there's an emergency situation all bets are off and uh... somewhere in the fcc uh... rules it states that in 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 the extreme case where you have to protect life and property you are authorized to use whatever means you have to transmit on those frequencies to uh... do what's right so that's my disclaimer uh, you have the power please use it responsibly and uh, I haven't touched on any information about HF frequencies that's down in the 30 megahertz you know the 11 uh, meter range uh, what is it 28 megahertz or whatnot uh, that's not my forte as far as my my, my geekness goes uh, I like dealing with VHF, UHF, and, and up in the upper bands, uh, the police bands and stuff since I uh, maintain their equipment and whatnot. Uh, there's a lot of flavors to this to this particular hobby. Those are just the ones that I stick to. Uh, I'm lazy. I don't want to build long antennas for HF and stuff like that. You give me a VHF antenna, I know i got to cut it to like 16 inches, and, and that's my antenna length. Uh, it's just simpler to use uh, in my case I mean so that's where I'm coming from thanks again and I hope to make some more videos about this and uh, if you like what you see and you want me to do more please say so uh, so I could uh, have the inspiration to spend some time with you guys and and, and show you what I know alright guys see ya Yeah.